Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for the weekend energy beginning October the 6th, Friday through Sunday, October the 8th of 2023. As we cruise right through another month, last month seemed to happen like a snap. So here we go, moving forward. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. You'll also see the retreat that I have posted there. So click on that and check it out. I'd be more than happy for you to join us. It is a very intimate setting because we have the whole building to ourselves and it is a beautiful retreat to start your year with intention that's what it's for it's like um just uh, it's 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 less about tarot and more about quantum but really going to make a big difference in everyone's lives so let's move into the energy thank you for the likes and subscribes in advance and away we go oh hey we have the justice card right decisions being made by you and for you and the four of pentacles which is the energy of money in the bank and very secure stability financially so libra major arcana with the justice card means balance is here and we like the balance of the money so hey team we'll take it here we go thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit hello now this is the air sign queen so we just had the libra major arcana and this is the energy of loaded for bear Okay, so if you've got to go out and 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 we'll say uh, claim your prize, then whatever it is, whether it's, you know, something, so whatever you're working on, whether it's working on a new job or getting a project done or or having a long talk with somebody that's going to require a little bit of. Uh, we'll say. Intellectual prowess. OK, she's got the beautiful energy of that sword. So no matter what, even if it comes down to it, she's going to get it done by mind or by might. So very, very positive energy of the Queen of Swords here, seizing the day and and bringing home that that bring home the bacon, as they would say back in the <laughs> back in the day. Here we go. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So here we go in the energy. Three cards out. Oh, pink. And the Six of Swords. We are moving in the right direction. When we have the Six of Swords, you see they're all pointed this way. That means we're not going to run across them and get snagged. We're in the energy of not allowing ourselves to, to be uh, interfered with as we go for our goal. So it means you're moving in the right direction. It's a definite symbol of that. And it's saying you have the skills and abilities to launch forward. And uh, so... Yay, team. We love that. I receive it. We have practice. Now, I cannot underestimate the amount of importance you must place on repetitive things. That's what we do in our lives. It makes us remember how to tie our shoes. We did it a thousand times, and now we just don't even think about it. Well, meditation is the same way, and so is looking at life a different way, especially when we've been in a place where we've been in, in that in that feeling like everything is falling apart and we don't really understand why this is happening to us, right? You have to practice different thinking in order to get out of that. You have to practice different thinking in order to get into a place of abundance when you're from a place of lack. So it's all about surrendering to the practice. Every day I practice my ability to reach my desired financial goals. That means even if you don't have the money tangibly in your hand, you have to be in a place where you can imagine that is possible and then go with that, that belief because that's what turns the tide and changes your frequency and then starts putting you in a place of abundance rather than lack. You have to make that decision and practice. Flow. And once you do, you will get in this flow and that's the energy of, 
of being in that place where the universe is now bringing things exactly to you. Riches flow into my life in many ways and from many directions. Same thing as saying, I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. That's where you let down your barrier of what your your practical human mind knows to be available to you and let the universe show you what it's working with. Okay? I'll take what the universe is working with. Thank you very much. And we have our Angelic Answers Oracle cards, which are always, always welcome. Thank you. Yes. So there's the answer, yes. For whoever needed a big fat, yes. And and I, I always accept yes. <laughs> and I've been, this has been my year of yes. I've been going and traveling and, and seeing all of you vibe tribers out there in the wild, right? In, in IRL in real life. And so it's been very fun and I love you guys. In January, we'll be doing it again. Emergence. The frequency. This, hmm, feeling like you're just breaking the surface and starting to blossom. The frequency of emerges, emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment. And, the, and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. So... When you're in a place of witnessing the unfoldment of, of miracles and things that happen to affirm and then things that you're trying to manifest, it is quite a, 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 you know, there's a lot of laughter because you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's really happening, right? So, I mean, it's important to celebrate the moments when it's starting to show, when you can see the budding of it and the opening of it and then the full blossom of it. That's what the flower of life is all about. So... Let's see what the cards have to say. Conflict. Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of the stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart. Do what you would love, not what you think you should received thank you universe i received that message because sometimes we try to go out of our way to do something that is completely not necessary and it only stresses you out to do it invitation we your guardians ain our guardian angels sorry we your guardian angels ask you to invite us into your heart talk to us at any time share with us your fears and concerns as well as your joys and pleasures there is no need to be formal for we have known you before the dawn of time in fact we know you better than you know yourself and we love you just as you are isn't that a beautiful thing just to be loved just as you are why don't you try that for yourself love yourself exactly as you are and then other people will too so we have the Eight of Pentacles, the mastery of a new skill, being in the energy of going from apprentice to stepping into the full-blown thing. So this is a graduation energy. We love that. And it is an energy of abundance because once you master the skill, you become very prolific at it. Oh, we like that. So we went from the Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Yay, team. I receive, I receive, I receive. Being in the energy of that is all the beautiful abundance coming at us, heading in the right direction. We're heading for abundance, y'all. <laughs> We're heading straight, straight for abundance. And releasing our past. Because part of this is if we're going to take on all of this, we have to let go of all of this right? We have to purge, clear, and cleanse ourselves from the place where we were in that dark shadow energy and let yourself be renewed by this because this is the cosmic garbage man coming in to sweep the deck and create a brand new beginning with a whole new experience and a brand new fresh clean slate. So we will take that. So here we go. This is the weekend of change. Do your meditations and allow yourself to believe for what you want. Don't let anything hold you back. Many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful day. I love you guys and I'll see you on Monday. Namaste, my friends.